Bias, the exhibition, is looking at how human biases make their way into algorithmic systems and how algorithmic systems are increasingly being used to shape the world around us. We live in a world that is, let's face it, really enhanced by all of these technological platforms and these systems that use big data and artificial intelligence. But it's easy with all of that benefit to forget all of the bias that might be in the data, might be in the systems, might be in the teams that build them. The whole point of the SKU market was to see what happens when we take some of these personalization algorithms and all of this very, very biased look at what you are. You know, you are what you buy. It's a very strange way of thinking about our identities. Let people kind of see and feel what it means to have these sort of profiles applied to them. The data that a lot of these AI algorithms are trained on is not representative of uh, often the people it is trying to represent. Large parts of the population are just being treated as almost anomalies when they should be treated as equals. Most likely to succeed is an interactive installation that is all about the subjective nature of fairness. The fairness of an AI system is decided by the humans that use it and not the AI. What feels fair can be different for different people or even sometimes the same people in different situations. The same AI model can be optimized for different kinds of fairness, like the people who need the most time, or it could be parity where everybody gets the same amount of game time. Our system is currently optimized for efficiency where the people who are predicted to be most likely to succeed get the most playtime. The same situation is replicated in things that are quite impactful loan applications, job applications, and even school applications and things such as this. The issue is when we don't actually question our news sources, where they come from, what's the biases that they hold. It's very easy to get caught up in the filter bubble and to um, take on the same biases as these news agencies. People should be conscious about their news media diet just as they would their food diet. It was motivated by research that we've been doing on the work of content moderators and community managers in Ireland, and what parts of that job can be done by AI, and what parts are done by humans. If the AI is biased against certain types of people in a society, it can have very real harms in their everyday lives. So while the game might seem like a playful, trivial way of exploring this, I think it's a very simple interactive way to start people to think about really, really serious issues. I think the benefit of connecting research and artists is that we get an opportunity to see the digital technologies from a different perspective. We get a, uh, an opportunity to look at ourselves in a different way. With, with other sort of identity categories, such as race or gender, Google have kind of engineered the biases out of the search engines, but it's still there for, for class at the moment. In some ways, algorithmic bias helps make human biases more visible. With AI, when we can see the logic at work, we can start to interrogate and ask, why are we prioritizing this over that? What are the considerations that are or are not being taken into account? Whose interests are or are not being represented here? The important thing is that we actually ask those questions.